Hi guys, welcome back. Um, by the way, I hope you're enjoying this uh, review of some of my work. Um, it's not perfect work. Wood turning never is, you know. I, I do try and uh, achieve as best as I can. If I'm going to make something, I'll try and make it to the best of my abilities. And if it doesn't turn out to the best of my abilities, I'm not happy. But not everything comes out perfect, as you know. But some some pieces you keep because they mean something to you. And what you're looking at now is, is a piece that means something to me. This was the first ever piece of yew wood that I ever turned. This piece is what got hooked, got me hooked on turning you wood. It's uh, a little chalice. Um, I'll give you some idea of scale. There's my hand, fingers. <laughs> Stands what? About four inch tall. It's approximately nine and a half year old nine, nine and a half year old now turned from yew branch wood it's the first end grain chalice slash goblet that I ever attempted as well so it, it means something to me you know it's not perfect but it means you know it's something dear to me it means something to me but I've got to admit, it looks cracking as well. You know, the timber is spectacular. That's what I love about yew wood. It's not until you cut into the wood that you you actually see what's there. It's a beautiful wood. Spectacular is a better word. But this little chalice is one of my favourite ever pieces. As I said, it's not perfect. But it doesn't have to be this particular piece you know some some pieces are not perfect and I'll give them away to people I'll give them to charity shops and stuff like that but this piece will stay with me it, it really does you know I look at this piece and I remember the day when I first turned it it's when I was just starting to turn I didn't know a great deal about turning it was the first engrain um, chalice slash goblet hollowing project that I ever attempted. Actually, no, I tell a lie. It was the second one. I did attempt a bubinga one, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in the next video, in fact. I attempted that one. Uh, which came out quite nice, but the finish was horrible. But this one came out really nice. So, this one I hold dear to my heart. It means something to me. It reminds me of when I first started turning. When I'd finished this, when I'd applied the finish and when it was all dry and, and whatnot, I was chuffed to bits with this. For you guys that don't know what chuff to bits means, it means I was head over heels. I, I really was happy with it. It's took a few knocks over the over the years where it's been dropped and, you know, it's got a few dings in the lid. But uh, I'll never get shut of this one. It, it really does mean something to me. Right. And that's what you branch wood dries like. <clears throat> the the lighter parts, when I first turned it was virtually white. Maybe just slightly off white. And over the years the mellow down to this light brown. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. The mellow down to this white, this light brown. And then the inner heartwood goes this lovely chocolatey golden brown it's it's beautiful absolutely beautiful wood you uh it, it, you know bang for book 
I don't think you can go far wrong with you would. Whenever you say you, it always seems to sound wrong. Yeah, bang for book, you would. English you is, uh, it takes some beating. Right, on with the show, lads and lasses, by the way. Chaps, I'll call you. Or chapesses. Let's get on to the next one. Catch you in a bit, guys. Keep watching. Thank you.